All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rachak Wadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto the elect. Shalom unto you that are listening and learning out there, man, fighting for your salvation that you may earn it in these last days. Lord willing that we're called and chosen. All right, so I'm going to go into this video here um, where they were talking about the Bible says that Deuteronomy 23 and 7, God told them. To not abhor the Edomites. Okay. So let's see what that word means. I'm going to Google it. And then we'll see if, if the Bible supports. Um, abhorring an Edomite. Now in, in in other videos. You can go into the, the Hebrew. Assyrian Hebrew. And you can see that it's, it's the word there. Assyrian or Aram. Okay. Aramaeans. Alright. Versus Edomites. It's a clerical error. The, 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 the Ra. Phonic or the raw, the raw character and the dot character look very similar, or it can easily be misinterpreted. All right, uh, that's in a different video, but um, this one I'm gonna just show you that the the scriptures, not just this one scripture, but the the whole Bible supports um that uh that the Most High doesn't love the Edomites. Okay, that when let's go into that word of ab abhor. Here's the definition of abhor. Regard with disgust and hatred. Disgust or hatred. Now let's look at this. Hate, detest, loathe, despise, abominate, execrate, regard with disgust. Uh, let's see something else that's a good one. Disdain, dislike. Okay. The opposite of love. Okay, let's see if there's anything else uh, to shut her away from. Abhor. All right. All right. So basically, hate, loathe, abominate, despise, detest. Okay. Now let's go into this. Romans chapter 9. I'm going to go straight to the point and I'm going to just hit these. Um, Romans 9, verse 13. As it was written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. The two different emotions there. All right. Um, from there, let's go to. Okay. Hebrews 12, 16, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, for who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. When you go into Genesis, the 25th chapter, it breaks that down for you. On the 21st verse, it begins talking about how Rebecca couldn't have babies. You know, and they, her and um, Isaac prayed and, you know, and the angel came to, to Rebecca and broke it down as she would when they conceived twins. And this is who was in the womb, okay? Read into that. It says, uh, for ye know how that afterward, when ye would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. Okay. No place of repentance. From there, let's go to Psalm 50, verse 16. It says, um, but unto the wicked, Yahweh saith, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing that thou hatest instruction and casteth thy word behind thee. And we know the Edomites did that. We go to another one in Psalms. Showing you that, this is Psalm 147, showing you that he only showed it to Jacob. He didn't say Jacob and Esau. and, and No, he don't love everybody. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation as for his judgments they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh. All right. Um, let's just go straight to Ezekiel. Ezekiel's a good one. Ezekiel 35. And I'm just hitting them off the top of my head. Straight to the point. Let's we'll start at um, 2. It says, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. Mount Seir is, the land of, uh, is within the land of Edom. Okay. And prophesy against it. And say unto it, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh power, uh, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. I will stretch out mine hand against thee. I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste. Thou shalt be desolate. Thou shalt know that I am the Lord, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, power, I will prepare thee unto blood 
and blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. And I will make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out, and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men, okay, in thy hills, and in thy valleys, and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. And I will make thee perpetual desolations, and thy city shall not return. And ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh, because thou hast said these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and I will, po will possess it, whereas the Lord Yahweh was there. I'm talking about the land of Israel, the north and the south, all right? And that's pretty much the point of that, okay? Look, and it, and it continues. I mean, I ain't even got to the book of Obadiah yet. Let's go there right quick. <clears throat> I mean, the judgments on, on of Edom are crazy, all right? I can read this whole chapter, all right? Now, I'll, I'll read some of it. It says, The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord Power Yahweh. This is Obadiah 1 and 1. It says, Concerning Edom, we have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in the in battle. And I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. Pride of thine heart shall deceive thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. And it's funny because when we would break this down for Christians before, then it goes from you shouldn't have bore an Edomite to Oh, 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 well, who are the Edomites? White people aren't the Edomites. You know, it, it is going to have to move the goalposts into something else because we've broken this down time and time again. And, and all you can do is try to change up who are the Edomites now. Now, now the, the, the Arabs are the Edomites or, or whatever else, man. But we all know who the Edomites are, man. And it's, and it's clear that red man, OK, the one without the pigment and his blood shows forth through his skin. The one whose pigment is wasted away. Anyway, it says, um, uh, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. Um, uh, six, I'm going to jump around a little bit. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that are at, that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee, and they shall eat the bread. Thy bread have lain a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Shall not in that day, saith the Lord Yahweh, even destroy the wise men out of Edom, and understanding out of the, out of Mount. Of, excuse me, and understanding out of the Mount of Esau, and thy mighty men, O Teman, which is a land in, in Edom, shall be dismayed to, to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. How do you get around this? How do you get around this? Okay. And look, this is showing you the history of the Edomites. In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captives his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates, and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou was one of them. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger, neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction, neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Because we're the apple of his eye, man. Okay? And that goes right back to Genesis, the 27th chapter. The, the time of mourning for my father, talking about Isaac are at hand. Then shall I slay my brother Esau. I mean, excuse me. Then shall I slay my brother Jacob. Okay? And he's been, he's been slaying us every chance he got since then. Hating on us the whole time. When other, when other rulers were in... in, in, in um, and other other kings were in rulership, other nations were in rulership. He was right there snitching, man, trying to get lay hell on us, man. Okay. Uh, let's see. I mean, this whole chapter goes, man. But some of these are just you just can't, you know, you just can't get around. Um, 
18, got to read it. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. And what does fire and flame do to stubble? It burns it up, man. All right. And they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord hath spoken it. And proof that we have that they haven't come already, the Edomites aren't already done away with, because that's vocab's other argument. Because we're not in the kingdom of heaven. All this happens on this day. And look, it's going to say it. And they of the south shall possess the Mount of Esau, and they of the plain, the, the Philistines, and they shall possess the field of Ephraim, and the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gilead. And the captivity of his host of the children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, and the uh, Zarephath, and the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in Shepharad, uh, shall possess the cities of the south. And saviors uh, shall come on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau. And the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Okay, which we know the Lord ain't here. Hey, even if you don't believe in Yahweh, Jesus ain't here either, man. <laughs> For you Christians, man. Jesus ain't here either. And there ain't peace all over. There's still war. All right. So we know the Edomites can't be done away with. All right. Um, what was I thinking after that one? Um, let's go to the end times. Let's go Revelation real quick. We love this one. Um. Yeah, I'm going to get it. Revelation 3 and 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, the adversary, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Okay. Whoa. Who's that? Who's out there putting out all that demonic energy, pushing out Satanism all over the world? I mean, that, that that's at the forefront of that, that the, at the center most concentrated of that. You Edomites, man. Behold, I will make them. And when you go into their deep rituals, you can see how satanic these people are. Go into the, the rituals of the, of the Masons. Go into, go into the rituals of uh, the Skull and Bones. Go into the rituals of, um, of the music industry. Okay, those in the, um, in, um, where's that, the Bohemian Grove. Go in there. There's Edomites in there, man. Okay. And those are the same people that, that, that's sitting in Atlanta, Israel over there now. With conflict with the with the, with the uh, Palestinians, man, and the Iranians, just like the prophecies talk about, man. All right, it says, um, uh, and I will make them to come and to worship before thy feet, and to know that that I have loved thee, and that hasn't happened yet. Okay, the second chapter says a similar thing. It says, I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy. Of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Okay, and we love to use that one as well. You know, you got to go into that to really break that down. But yeah, we use that one as well from time to time. This one has not happened yet. Okay, verse 10, Revelation 13, verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity, and we went, came over here in the slave ships. They came over here and took the the southern, I mean, excuse me, the northern kingdom in, in Central and South America and even North America into captivity. Then they went back and got the, the southern kingdom out of uh, uh, out of uh, the, the eastern world and brought them over here. And they, they fleed into the, the the coast of west, west coast of Africa and brought them over here to serve slavery, captivity. OK, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. OK. Showing you right there. All right. Showing you right there. All right. And you can't. This one in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, 68 verse. You can't get around them two, man. All right. And these were just some that just jumped off the top of my head. There's plenty of other situations and scriptures and precepts uh, to go into. But just with that, you can't pull the one Deuteronomy 23 and 7 and say that that nullifies everything that's going on in the Bible. Okay? And it's even deeper when you go into why um 
we, uh, we were told not to abhor an, an Assyrian. All right, but that's another lesson for another day. With that, I'm gonna close out giving all praises, praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakhak Wadash, the Velocity Apostles, and the elders of the Great Millstone, and greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto you men and women out there who fight for your salvation, man. Shalom to you.